uh, the media as if it's you know some kind of a, a game you're playing. Um, you don't um, take on people saying nasty things about them. You don't um, take foreign leaders and hang up the phone with them or uh, besmirch them as he has with some of the European leaders. I mean, he has got to get a grip. And so the 25th Amendment is there if a president becomes incapacitated. Woodrow Wilson was incapacitated. His wife actually was the president in waiting for most of uh, the end of his term. Certainly Eleanor Roosevelt played a role. Um, I don't believe that Melania Trump is in a position to do that. But, but what's being done as Democrats are so vocally opposed to President Trump? Frankly, we spent the last month trying to repel uh, some of the dangerous actions he has undertaken by executive order. Are you stupid? This is the Sam Malone Show, brought to you by Salem Radio Houston and 512 New Media on AM 1070, The Answer. Pray tell, who was that miserable, miserable, ugh, miserable woman, Mr. Teller? Okay, first of all, CNN is Brianna Keller, and uh, along with Representative Jackie Spear, who is a Democratic uh, congressman. So she's a congressman? Okay, that too. Wow, she's miserable. And and listen to the lies. He hangs up on world leaders. How would you know that? Were you there? <laughs> yeah, right. Were you in the office when Trump talked to, I guess, uh, the big dogs of Australia and Mexico? No. No. Can't You can't. And she criticized the media? I mean, uh, Trump criticized the media, so that's a problem? So it's Obama dangerous. and Fox News, what happened? Obama and Fox News, when he banned them and wouldn't and didn't say right. they were legit. Exactly. This is, oh, my God, what an alt-left miserable liar she is. These hey, you people know are actually mentally sick. They've got something going on they wrong need, in their brains. They need, Mr. Malone, sir, psychotherapy. Sir, yes, they do. They need therapy. By the way, call CNN. Get that gal on every day. Please do. That, that'll that just cement President Trump's reelection. Speaking of psychotherapy, yeah, I mean, this, well, this poor woman's lying. I mean, she's on television. She's talking about an event that she didn't witness, the phone calls with world leaders. It's causing a lot of odd anxiety. So that's why we're America's only radio show with its own in-house psychotherapist. Not for us, it's for you, but it could be for us. Say hi to Jill Payne via Skype. Hi, Jill. Hi, Sam. Happy Wednesday to Happy you. Happy Wednesday. You look yeah. beautiful. And don't let me, please re remember that I'm going to read just a little snippet uh, in my Oprah magazine before before you hang up on me. That's okay. <laughs> if, Anybody who says, I'm going to read a, my Oprah magazine probably gets hung up on. But why Why would you – you're you're a psychotherapist. Why would you be reading from Oprah? Oprah. Okay. Okay, let me put on my reading glasses, and, and I'm going to read. I'm just going to show you this. She's together with many people, and Oprah is quite an intelligent woman. That's how come she is still around. And she got all these different women together because she wanted to understand what's going on. You know, how come this person got elected uh, when it was stated that Hillary was going to be elected? Right, right. So this is this is a quote from her. She got these women to, uh, together. They talked. They listened. She said, had I still been listening, I would not have been surprised by what happened on November 8th. I would have heard from the supporters of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton their concerns, fears, challenges, and hopes for their future. Most important, we would have heard one another. And so I think that everyone needs to get her magazine. I'm promoting her. And uh, if more people, because remember who she was for. She was not only for Obama, she gave money to Obama. So here is a woman that is was so for Obama, and yet here she is open to say, let's start listening to everybody. Well, and, she's in, uh, she's in the entertainment business. She knows that Americans True. two to one are conservative. In every survey, uh, conservatives outnumber liberals two to one. So okay. when, when when Oprah is looking to make money off her production company, and that is by providing content for quote mass consumption, well, you live in a little bubble like a lot of people of the alt left, and they don't yes. hear real Americans. They have no idea what real Americans go through every day. So when you have like Hillary saying, I haven't driven a car, I don't even have a license, I haven't had a license in 20 years, I don't know how to drive. What? But you take money from the Saudis who don't let women drive. So when all the, if you just listened, you would have learned a lot. And maybe her company needs to grow, or maybe they're having issues or whatever. It's my two cents. <laughs> 
Well, I, I'm thinking that she's open-minded, and I would like more people such as her to speak up because that may help what's going on, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about, that uh, people are in their survival mode right now. And because uh, what, what causes that is um, our, our emotions uh, trigger our survival instincts, okay? And so what would trigger them also is events. So if we appear that we are being harmed or right now it's really an unknown. People don't know what's going on. Uh, Trump tells us certain things and just like he said, <clears throat> he wants to keep some mystery. He's also a businessman and his thought process, and you'll understand this just like I do, and I'm sure you've had this said to you many times, quote unquote, it's not personal, it's a, it's business, you know, <laughs> and so right, right, right. Uh, that, right, right, okay, well that's, go ahead. No, I was going to, our in-house psychotherapist is Jill Payne, why, okay, they're in survival mode, these right. alt-left losers, because of an right. election that took place back in November, and this is February well, 22nd? Yes, because uh, Trump is the tiger in the room. So if a tiger comes in your room right now, if you're you're sitting there with all your guys there and a tiger comes yeah, in the room, what yeah. are y'all going to do? My, look at the tiger. Look at the tiger. Go there. Go there. I scratch the tiger. Gizzy, gizzy, tiger. I think tiger. Okay, maybe, well, maybe you would. But we draw Those people, they're going to think fast. Their heart's going to beat fast. They're going to breathe heavy. Their uh, digestive system is going to slow down because they need all the energy in their muscles. Their brain is going a mile a minute. And all you're thinking and focusing of is to stay alive. We're all and armed. that's what these people are doing right now. I'm just God, saying. that's weird. So the, the emotions are, uh, we have six main emotions that, that help us to survive and that sad mad glad disgust fear and surprise so this fear is causing people it, it helps you think about it if you have fear and it's minimal it it helps you to avoid or it motivates you to move in a different direction it's what? sad what it's sad no, no no hang on jill Payne is our in-house psychotherapist right. they're telling me to go to the break i want to, i'm gonna hold you to the break because you're oh. good is that okay okay you're on yeah, fire. That's awesome. I know she loves it. She's like, come on, TV. I like to be. I love to be on fire. That's I'm right. A woman. On fire. <laughs> on fire. I'm but hot. I, I want to. You. Go. You are hot. I want to get back to this. The the alt left are in survival mode. I mean, this to me is yes. unfathomable. Hold on a second. We'll continue our conversation. She's on Skype. Okay. Jill Payne, our in-house psychotherapist. You're welcome. As we are America's only radio program actually radio and television program with an in-house psychotherapist she was on a roll and i'm like dude you got to stick around for thanks got her dude <laughs> you got to stick around for another break jill Payne, our uh, in-house psychotherapist i just called you dude what's up with that i just duded you <laughs> that's okay my, my husband says i'm like a guy so there you go <laughs> I'm a dude. I have three brothers. I can go dude. with it. Dude. I include, I think I called Congressman Ted Poe this week. I think I was going, hey, dude. I mean, the Congressman. <laughs> All right. So let, let's get it. There's, uh, there was a story in CNN yesterday on CNN's website. Yes. Yes. And you had mentioned, hold on to the thought, because you had mentioned survival mode. All left yes. people, all left are in survival mode. Like you'd think your boat right. is crashing. There's a fire. There's an emergency. There's an explosion. There's an earthquake, a tornado, something like that that would put yes. you, quote, in survival mode. But anyway, yeah, it said that people right. are so still emotionally upset with Trump's victory that some men are unable to be ro romantic with their wives because they're so upset that they're not having right. marital relations. Okay. And I'm like, you pansies. You little girl pansy men. Oh, try standing when you urinate. The election was in November. This is the edge of February coming up on March. And you're like, hey, so I can't be with my wife. So may, so may I give you an analogy? Yes. Okay. Uh, I already said Trump was the tiger. I want you to think of that the, uh, the left was hit with a tsunami, and it was an unexpected tsunami. Okay. And so what happens after you have a tsunami, you have devastation. Yes. And people, it takes a long time for them to recuperate. So it depends on how big the phenomenon is and so what's happening is not only did a tsunami hit just like what <clears throat> oprah was saying if she had listened like all the other people really the the republicans didn't know either only you and i knew sam remember we we did our 
our little shtick and said that Trump would win. Yes. Um, right. Okay. So <laughs> what's what's happening is fear is contagious, and so there's something that's called mass hysteria, emotional contagion, and you need to think of it as a, a virus that's being that's that's contagious. Wow. This and is so, deep. This is deep stuff. You're going deep. Is that deep? Is that Psy- too deep? Psychotherapist Jill Payne. It's. Fear, so, fear is contagious. That's a good one. I like that one. Yes, and and the thing is, when you have so much, because remember, there's different levels of emotion. You can have a little bit of fear, and then it can rise all the way to paranoia. Uh, and so, y- you you have this fear that's constantly growing. And what happens is logic goes out the window because if you're in survival mode, you're only focusing on what surviving survival so sometimes it may be rational sometimes it may be irrational yeah don't hit don't hit me with such don't hit me with such tough questions okay (laughs) no all right let me ask you this jill Payne, our psychotherapist yes yes. so you're i'm sticking up for everybody because no you're like this this is what psychotherapists do i mean you don't take sides i get it but (laughs) so you're like so you're like the alt left uh and in the newsrooms and 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 liberals and all this whatever are in survival mode and you uh, likened it to you were just in a tsunami, right? And we saw the devastation exactly. of the tsunami a couple. Okay. Exactly. So yeah, you're like, you're just in a in a tsunami, and you're like in, in extreme survival mode, which I get. I get it. I was in a plane that was about to crash. Uh, I was flying on uh, Continental years ago, and they they said we got a problem. We're coming in for a crash landing, and this they they had me do this, and you had to do that, and people were screaming on the plane. I get it. Oh, I got goosebumps. Yeah. yeah it's a hell of a story. And I got goosebumps just by you telling right. me. You see how contagious that is. Right. So it's survive. Oh, a good example. So there you go. This kind of fear is contagious. Oh, by the way, so is success, hard work, values, and morals and ethics. But anyway. Of course. But anyway. Yes. So how come when Obama won in 08 and 2012, and yes. he stood yes. opposite uh, the 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 beauty of the Judeo Christian fabric of our great nation. Why didn't conservatives and those who love America and those who love marriage and their children and and the ten, you know and so forth and so on? Why didn't Republicans and, and conservatives fall apart where people wrote about they couldn't have relations with their wives and they can't work and they're lo- who's that the, the pedophile from HBO? Uh, what's her name with the show Girls? She lost thirty or forty pounds. What's her name? Lena Dunham, thank you. Lena Dunham's like, well, I, I haven't eaten since Trump. She was uh, Zoftig, so she's lost a lot of weight. And she, I can't eat. Why didn't conservatives do this? Wish that happened to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be a great pill. See, a woman, a woman hears a story of weight loss, and she's like, well, I would not Anyway, I wish that was me. But why didn't why why didn't up. No, why didn't forty four percent of the country remember forty four percent of the country is conservative, twenty two percent is liberal. That's from Pew. Right. Why didn't forty four percent of America lose weight, stop working, stop having relations, cry, burn, loot, uh, rape, rob, and murder? Why? You know, I was thinking about this. Uh, in my house, I've got do- a dog and two cats, and I don't want to compare people to animals. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but. And that- but there's a B-U-T-T. We sit on it. Okay. So it's perception. So you have my, my cat was looking in the toilet and I was thinking that, not the toilet, looking in the, um, the bathtub. And I was thinking, if I went like that, clap my hands, what would that cat do? Jump, fall, slide. Jump. Yeah. Jump. And, and the dog, believe me, the dog would probably come to me. My dog would probably, if I went clap. My dog would come to me, whereas my cat would jump. So it's all their mindset. What, what are you laughing at? <laughs> but it's, uh, I thought that was a good analogy. Uh, you asked me a question. I'll of give you a six. Republicans and, but, and Dem- Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm, I'm just teasing. I, I love you. But it's like, but the, you're talking survival mode. We, I'm going to go back to that. Jill Payne, our in-house psychotherapist. It, survival mode is really that's heavy-duty stuff, right? It is. So it is. Um, it's I. I embedded. I, and I, I just can't imagine why conservatives didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, if you clap your hand, the cat and dog thing. But survival mode, the inability to eat, the inability to work, to go to violence? Okay, so their mindset is... Hello? Oh, I lost her. What happened? Are you there? What well, was a nice scene over there. Dude, I mean, we were... It was a nice picture, but... Yeah, you lost her in the... The picture just grabbed the last one that it held on to it from the computer. You put your elbow on the off button. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, 
Oh, dude, you know? that's that sucks. She was on a roll. When she said she was going to hold you over, <laughs> you were going to hold her. I, I think some, I don't know, something happened from that point Jill? on. Hello? Oh, Jill. That's gone. Okay. Yeah, you lost her. Oh, man. She was she on a roll. She was just getting to the good stuff. Yeah, right? she was getting to the really good stuff. Yeah. She was going to psychoanalyze Tom Fontaine. <laughs> well, listen, there's, there's only so much time in the month. <laughs> Well, we only got a few days left in that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Do we, oh, man. I, you know, I really hate when that happens to our interviews. We'll see if you can get her back on the other side. That was a fantastic interview. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the break.